Hello everyone, and welcome back. Hello. Hello. So, Aya, you return to the room, and yeah. it is a couple of hours before your companions awaken. What are you doing? Me? Yes, you. Yes. Oh, um... Um... Do I have anything to do? If you tell me to. Probably just, like, chilling. I mean, I don't really have anything specific. No, that's fine. Chilling is a perfectly acceptable action. <laughs> <laughs> chilling is a free action. <laughs> well, no, it isn't, because it takes four hours. Mm. Wow. That's four hours worth of chilling. That's a lot of chilling. Chilling, really. Yeah. Yeah, so, you... You finish your max and relax in old school, and then your companions wake up. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I am going to make this check on the thing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Pontan's going to start writing in his journal while he waits for everyone oh. else to fully wake up. I don't know if that's enough. I don't know either. Uh-oh. <laughs> that noise. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's using his, his scary, vague DM voice. Yeah. yeah. He was going to use that anyway, so I don't, I don't know what it means, so we're just going to continue on. Yeah. You, you have no, no way of knowing what, what, what possibly that could mean, so you do, you do your rituals normal. Well, no, I'm writing this journal so everyone else is ready to do something. Um... I'm gonna bring up the fact that Indy is a historian, carefully leaving out any indication that she tried to hit on me last night. Um, and that, I think it would be good to show her the shard. See if she knows anything. But wouldn't we have to open the box for that? Ooh, yes. That's true. I mean, we could just open the box. We might just take it out, right? Opening the box oh, does. Open it, oh, opening the box, moving it in and out, literally makes no difference to the actual seal. The seal just wears over time. It's just not affected by the seal when it's outside of it. Right. So if we just open the box, I mean, it'll still be in the seal. Yes. It's just. So she can still. She can just see it. Yeah. I don't. Even, I don't think she has to hold it or anything. I mean, does she even need to see it? We can probably just tell her what it is, and if oh, she asks, true. then we can show it to her. If you want Fair to be enough. really safe about it. You know, we That's could start funny. off by asking about if she knows about the the oh what's it called again shadow plane. Mm. Shadow fell. Uh, shadow fell. I mean, sure, it's fine. I mean, who's gonna ask her? Because is it grim or? Uh, I guess I can. If I asked her last <laughs> night. <sighs> okay. Here we go, boys. And this time we're awake to watch you get hit on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I guess, is she still outside then? Uh, it's been about four hours, but you didn't see her come back in. Okay. Um, so I like, go up to the door and see if she's out there. Uh, she's not immediately outside where you saw her last night, no. Uh, can I look around for her? Yeah, you, um, you go outside, you look around, um, you spot, basically, you see the, the old man that you met, uh, last night is sort of, um, he's, he's putting on, like, a set of, of heavy boots on the, the, the building opposite you guys on in built into the other tree um and there's a uh, an older an elderly looking woman standing next to him uh and basically they sort of look, they look up and see you and the the woman gives you like a, a tentative wave and the old man is just sort of like nods his head um but you don't see her 
Uh, can I ask them if they have seen where she's gone? Uh, yeah, you d you basically have to you have to cross like the little bridge section. But you could go over to them and ask. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Uh, yeah, the uh, the man you were introduced to as uh, uh, last he sort of says, um, if you're looking for for Indy, she's uh, probably out in the forest. She uh, goes down by the brook every morning. She'll be back in maybe an hour. Okay. I just like thank them for their help and then go back to the others and tell them what's up. Well, how long are we planning to stay here? Because we should probably get going to the capital soon again. Yeah, I would agree with that. Probably. Well, we need to pick up supplies first. Yeah. Because I know there is a have... place to pick up supplies. You better hope there is, because we don't have enough supplies to make it to the capital in one trip. Elrond said you might be able to get supplies here. Mm. Okay. I guess while we're waiting for her, we could look around. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, basically, of the of the buildings that you have not been into, there is um. There is there is one smaller building at the top of the other tree opposite like on the the raised platform directly opposite you and there's the building underneath you which you're not really sure what that is yet. Neither of them is labeled. Um, which ones do you want to check out first? <laughs> yes. Or we could split up and do it. Or we could ask the people who live here. <laughs> That's true. Good that point. Probably be the best course of action. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You you guys go outside again, like, and the man is basically like going down the stairs as if he's like about to go out to work or something in the the forest. Although from his from his garb, he looks more like a farmer than anything. Um, and the old woman is sort of like um, standing on the the balcony above him, sort of like waving him goodbye. So you can either stop him, or you could go and ask the woman. I guess let's go ask the woman. You you approach her, and she says, "So." Oh. Hello there, you must be the travellers that arrived last night. Uh, my, my, my name's Imel. It's nice to meet you. We were wondering if there's any place in this town that we could possibly buy supplies. Um, that depends what you're looking for. Um, we don't have an awful lot here. I'm just about to, to open up, actually. Uh, rations, mostly, yeah. Yes, I'm. Uh, I, th I think we have some food spare that I could uh, could sell you. Sounds good. <laughs> she uh, gestures across the bridge, back the way you came, towards the the building that was under Indy's house. All right. In that case, then, how long is it going to take us to get to the capital, and therefore, how much do we need? Um, uh, I don't know, I think we definitely, like, are still have, like, maybe, like, two weeks of travel to go, so... So we need quite a lot, then. Yeah. It's basically anything we can get. Yeah. I think it's, like, like another week or two weeks or something like that, so... We might just have to spend more time there may be food. another village on the way there. Do we can we make another stop somewhere, or is it is it like we're on the road from now on? Well, have a look for yourselves. No. There does appear to be one settlement on the way there, but it's right near Argon Teleland itself. Well, it's well, it's still like 
one or two days travel away from them. I don't know, are those towns? You can roll me history checks to see if you know what they are. I feel like they're not, but... Well, might as well give the shot. Haha, <laughs> 420. 420, blaze it. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I, uh, you, uh, you as a somewhat resident of the forest, know briefly, uh, you, you know where these two places across the river are, basically, uh, the Emerald Domain and Storm Siege. Um, Grimmy, you actually, when Aya mentions the Emerald Domain and Storm Siege, you know a little bit from your, from your education in history about um, the two places. Um, the, the Emerald Domain is basically a, a fortified manor house um, that is basically owned by um, uh, basically the, the High Elven uh, the, me the member of the Governing Elven Council that, co that represents the, the High Elven race. Um, and it's it's basically like um, it 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 functions as basically a um, like a, a a border fort as well as a as a manor house. Um, whereas Storm Siege is uh, Storm Siege is basically a a massive fortress um, that was built right the way back at the. Uh, Probably about the about halfway through the first age. It's it's a very 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 old fortress, um, and it's basically said to be like huge on the inside, and it's uh, like it goes several layers deep below the surface, and you um, uh, it, it it has this this legacy of being just like a completely unassailable fortress, even though nobody's ever tried to invade it for a really 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 long time. So it could just be myth and legend, but it's it's basically a very, very ancient fortress, and the other one is a fortified manor house. Is the ancient fortress still populated? Yes. Yes, it, it is still a fully functioning uh, military base. Okay. Well, that'd probably be our best bet for. Yeah, you um you also Plus. with your with your role know the the Emerald Domain is basically. It's such a large manor house, it basically, uh, it has about 40-50 people living there Are you sure as this part is not of the... the Emerald City? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's a manor house, it's not a city. It is basically That's a sad. castle and manor house, but it is, it is staffed by around 40 to 50 people. So there's so... no wizard? No, not that you know of. Damn. There might be a wizard. I feel like you're not getting this joke. No, I, I got the joke. I'm just giving you <laughs> legitimate information. Okay. Uh. Okay. So, yeah. That's... That is what you know. Yeah, it does look like it's going to be at least another week's travel. Yeah. The fortress does sound like an interesting place to stop As on. As you guys are having this discussion, I'll say that you're sort of walking towards this, this building that um, uh, Imal is opening it up. Um, and as as the door basically like sort of swings open, it's um, it seems to be little more than sort of like a, a, a farmer's storehouse. Um, but it's it's very nicely it's very neatly arranged like it's got like shelves of of prepared grains and things um, and uh, I'm basically like, um, goes around and starts um, uh, pulling some some sacks and things off the shelves and says um, we've still got a, f a few things left over from uh, our last harvest but um, I, uh, I can sell you some of it. We're um, we're still planting some 
most of uh, of this year's crop. Well, we we could use any that you, that you could spare. Yeah, we, I think we need as much as we can get. Uh, she pulls us uh, like a, a a fairly decent number of sort of like um, uh, bags and 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 things of like dried fruit and and nuts and things. <clears throat> Um, and you, from a, from a cursory assessment, there's probably about ten days worth of food there. Is that for all of us or for one of us? I think just ten days in general, so everyone would get five. Uh, everyone would get two. <laughs> yeah, there. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, one, Look, yeah, I there, misspoke. Okay. There are there are ten portions of rations, and one ration okay. would last. Okay. We might need to go hunting <laughs> most days. Yeah, yeah probably. Say, hunting well, is probably going to be a thing that we do. That's it also, fine. Well, it looks like the one to the east was slightly closer. So we should probably try heading there first. Well, and that's, yeah, we don't really want to go to the Emerald City. Because um, it's not really like a trade post. Yeah. I mean, I don't think either of them are really a tra trading post, are they? No, uh, not really. Yeah. It's like a military base and a manor. <laughs> no, I feel like the military base has a higher degree of might having rations that we can buy. Yeah. yeah. I guess so, but it's also like a question of do they want to share. Anyway. Yeah. For places where we can get food, we're far more likely to be able to obtain it from a military base than from some rich bastard. True. All right, well, let's buy the rations then. Okay. Oh. Uh, Who's paying? Oh. <laughs> I mean, we can all cough up some coins, because you and all of us. How uh, much is the, it? The, the ten provisions will set you back five gold. Okay. So, so you know what? everyone deduct one gold. Yeah. <laughs> and add two One gold rations. per two days, yes. And then, yeah, add two rations. Um, so that's just under a week. Oh boy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. uh, I'm all sort of like helps you sort of distribute the food and, and, and takes your gold and she's like, Thank you very much. Um sorry that we don't carry much in the way of um uh things to sell. It's we we usually get a big uh, a, a big harvest in the autumn and, and we uh, and we take it up to the to the capital and sell what we can and then stockpile what we need for uh, the rest of the year. That's don't fine. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. We can we can manage. We're we're just happy there's anything left. Yeah. Is there anything else we can help you with? Uh, I don't think so. It, no, I I think that is it for now. Anybody else need something? Nope. No questions. Okay, then you leave. Uh, Is Indy back yet? Um, you probably spend like half an hour in the shop, maybe. So there's still like another thirty minutes or so until he said she'd be back. So you could just sort of kick around. Yeah. Well, I guess um, wait, can I have another look at the horn try to figure out what it does, or you could give it to me and have a look at it, I guess uh, maybe. I, I um, guess. You won't get anything more out of a history check, you might get more of it out of an arcana check Okay Okay Oh, yeah, that was way better Wow <laughs> no, Jeez. Right. Um, Jeez. Yeah. I will Give it to you. There you go. And you can choose whether to share this with everybody or not. You can uh, just keep it to yourself. I will. Well, I will sh share the knowledge because it's not really a secret that I have it anyway. Okay. Uh, save changes. Go to players. Ooh. Huh. That's a magical item. 
So yeah, that's what it did to him when he attuned to it. Made him proficient in deception checks. Oh, yeah. nice. Hmm. That's cool. Well then. Nice. Now it's easier to keep my backstory for myself. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh no, as if we Just needed kidding. any more roadblocks in this party. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Look, Luca, you cannot complain. Oh, no, I know. Ra random I'm, idea. I'm one of the biggest. <laughs> random idea. That's just a little kind of pastime thing. Would it be completely ridiculous to see if we can find some sticks for sparring practice? Well, you're in a forest, so I'm going to go ahead and yeah. say it's probably pretty easy <laughs> to find some sticks. Finding really? sticks is the easy part, but this is the thing. I mean, do you want to spar? Because I'm down. Yeah. Bee is down. Let's do it. <laughs> you already have a stick. Yeah, I was like, you already have a stick. Yeah, Von Dahl can teach everyone. Hey, Von Dahl trains soldiers. Let's do some sparring practice just while we wait. Yeah, might as well. We'll make sure everyone's got a stick. Okay. Everyone, get your we stick. Can, we can do some drills. Let's go. I feel like this is a kind of an unfair matchup for some of you. Looks at Kalaris. That's uh, gonna be more like that's gonna be more like Von Dahl's gonna, like I'm gonna try and drill them, so we all get some practice what? in, and then no. maybe. Bullshit. Right, no, do you spar. rather just spar? I don't want to spar. I want to fucking drill. I'm not a fucking soldier. All right, fine. Whatever. If you think Arya's gonna listen to you, good luck. We'll yeah, try. And, yeah. We'll try and make some fair matchups. It's fine. I mean, if like I take Kalaris, because that's in terms of size probably the best match. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then... It's okay, I will I will teach V before V spars, it's fine. <laughs> if V doesn't mind, that is. I mean, you, I mean, you, sure. you don't have to fight each other, you could just practice, but if you want to fight each other, then yeah. go ahead. I want to fight. <laughs> yeah, I is, I wants to fight. Do you really want to fight Kalaris? <laughs> I mean, it'll be fun! We haven't fought each other! <laughs> it's just sticks. <laughs> Ranger just Aya sticks, wants yeah. to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, no, Lyra won't be involved. Just us and that, would, that would be a tiny bit cheating. <laughs> it would be. Just I know. Rustic too. Quick, quick, Grim. I know what we need to do. Yep. All right. Me and you will teach. Will help teach V in more close quarters combat. So we'll I mean, demonstrate demonstrate things bad. on each other. She's not I useless. Mean, right. No, but you're also the only one who hasn't been trained military style. I mean, I have to... Oh, that's not true, I guess. I need I to have. check you guys' yeah. proficiencies. Okay. Oh. Mine is um, technically the quarter staff, which I have proficiency in. Yes. But... Yeah, yours is, yours is your weapon. Um, I have and, I'm, and I'm experienced with all weapons. Oh, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah so you're, you're I... all proficient in, in all weapons, so... Yeah. I will say that... If if you're gonna just sort of practice, then you can just practice and it won't do anything. But if you wanna if you wanna kind of spar with each other, we can see who wins. Oh yeah. I wanna yeah. see who wins, but like I don't know who V would spar with. You can spar with their Von Dahl or uh Grim. Yeah. Okay. You can spar okay. with Von Dahl. I just wanna spar Kolaris, because I think it'd be so Alright. Kolaris <laughs> okay. is <laughs> Kolaris is always down for a nice sparring match. Just make sure you don't accidentally hit her, and then she just like goes like, Rah! Oh yeah, rolls across the floor. But she doesn't have her vengeance sword thing. Oh, that's true. No, the sword of vengeance. <laughs> oh wait, that's oh. a good point though. Wait, can, can she you ha the can you wield the stick? Well, as long as she has to have the sword on you, it's fine. Well, I have um. Hmm. Hmm. This is a good point. I we, think you should we, read we, the we description of the Sword of Vengeance yeah, no, very I know, carefully. I thought about Whenever that, you take damage, so the second Arya oh, hits you, it's like, Rage must kill! Oh god! Can you <laughs> Only if Arya oh, hits you hard enough to deal damage. That's true. Yeah, which is a potential thing. <sighs> but we don't know this yet, so... Yeah, it, no, to, to be fair, that is, a little, that is metagamey. Kalaris would. But Kalaris knows yeah, every time you know that hit. you've lost your temper when you've been hurt, but you're also not entirely sure Aya with a stick could hurt you that badly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. What are you trying to say here? I mean, I think Aria probably could if she really tried. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. we're sparring. So. But you're not trying think... to. That's the point. No, I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I suggested this. 
Okay. Oh, Kalaris wouldn't want to take that risk though if she thought of that. And she oh, definitely will not about... find you. Damn it! <laughs> no! What a spark! Okay, Grim, Grim, Grim and V are you? Oh, oh okay. man. That's oh, fine. Well. <laughs> sure. Any excuse Here, to I'll, I'll hope, I'll hope, like... With a stick. Are we teaching V about what we're doing? Yeah. I can do that as long as nobody's, like, you know, damaging Kalaris. <laughs> V just sort of sense. stands there holding the stick, and you're just like, no, 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 your wrists are all wrong. <laughs> yeah, your stance is wrong. Left foot. Bend your knees. <laughs> right, right foot forward. Amazing. Not, not that forward. Not that forward. <laughs> yeah, not that forward. <laughs> well. He's not left-handed. Well, I don't know. I've not really thought about it anyway. Hmm. Should we do a sparring thing? Yeah, go Let's for it. it. It it'll be. It'll be uh, opposed skill checks, so just make make your attacks, but without any but, weapon but, modifiers. Yeah. So it's literally just uh, strength uh. check plus or strength strength or dexterity plus. Actually, no, because they're not. It would just be strength checks. Okay, just flat strength. Flat strength. Or, or uh, dex. If so it's... Strength plus proficiency. I guess yeah, because they wouldn't be. Because you're I don't proficient think a stick in is a finesse weapon. weapon. Yeah, you can't use dexterity because it's not a finesse weapon. Damn. Right, and then plus proficiency. Yeah, so we'll do it one at a time. Who's whose fight is going to go first? Uh, doesn't matter. I guess. I guess we'll we do, can. I know. Let's do. Over. Let's do Arya von Dahl so V can pick okay. up tips. <laughs> uh, that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. For the purposes of this bout, you all have armor class ten, or in Vondal's case, or you have you have your armor class equal to your to ten plus your dex mod because you're not wearing armor. Okay. But can I, can I still use armor. my shield? Oh yeah, V. It doesn't matter. Can you still yeah, use your shield? Say, yes, just... you can still use okay, your shield. Okay, good. Good. That's a save, so... Aya, not a. Yeah, oh. you have to make Oops. a yeah, You have to make a check. A oh damn! That was such a... Can we just pretend? check plus proficiency? No, we can't because it's different. Well, no, technically it's the same. Oh! oh, oh, oh God. God. Okay, crit. <laughs> just fucking sucked it! I mean, that's still good. I've still he technically done 22, it's just not a nat 20. Yeah. Who the fuck is Edward? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. I wasn't sex on doll. Mini has been rolling as Menno the entire time, so... I know. Look, I've changed it. I noticed. I've already changed. <laughs> oh, way. yeah, because your profile's the same. <laughs> Except yeah, it hasn't got a blue box. That's oh, like you your face. <laughs> So there we go. We both hit each other a bit, and I win. Well, it's uh -huh. it's a it's a it's a contest. So it's the first two, three successes, and a crit counts as two successes. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Roll again. Yep. Two more opposed rolls. Yep. Oh, that's oh. not good. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Roll again. So, last one. Or no. No, yeah, no, you're on now for you. So you're oh, on. God. Oh god! Oh wow! Oh, it's still. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Roll again. So now we're both on two Wait, successes. You didn't even. Oh, no, 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 you're not. What? Okay. Because neither of you again. beat neither of you beat the other's armor class. Oh yeah, not in that one. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. So in in the in the match between uh, Aya and Vondal. Uh, Aya, you're sort of like you're. You 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 take up the stance and just like as Vondal's like sort of getting ready, Vondal's just sort of like I don't really know whether to hold this in two hands or one hand because he's like he's sort of hmm, do I use the shield or do I use it? And he's like he's he's sizing you up for like a little while, and you're sort of plotting in your head. Uh, so basically, like the moment he's just like okay, I'm going to use the shield, and you change your posture like ever so slightly, and basically. As soon as he comes in with the first strike, he he basically goes for like your side because you obviously you've not, you're not using a shield, and you literally just step to the side and just tap him on the back of the neck. It's like bam, one point. Nailed it. Uh, Vonda, you're like a little bit annoyed about that because you're like, hmm, okay, they don't usually get me first time. <laughs> uh, although to be fair, I've never dealt with someone who's had just arguably just as much training as me. You've had more training, I has just well, had more practice. You definitely had more training yeah. than I have. More field practice. I is used to fighting things that don't fight conventionally, so she can read you better. Yeah, yeah that. Uh, and yeah, 
uh, you you decide you're you're okay. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play nice. So you go for the you go for the knees, and you manage to get a good one as you sort of like duck under Aya's second swing. So it's one point to you. And then sort of like you 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 both sort of swing again, and you sort of end up just uh you. Vondal, you you knock the the stick aside with the shield, and then you come for another one. But I, you're like you you were almost fainting with the with the first swing, so you could bring the sword around and just and tap the stick, and it it like it almost goes out of Vondal's hand, but you're just sort of like, well, no, not quite. Um, and then you like you you you're standing sort of sizing each other up for the for the, like the the one last one last go at it. And you just like sort of circle each other for a moment. You go for sort of like a an, an another wide uh, swing, but you make the mistake of sort of like lowering your shield arm, and Aya just sort of like taps you in the chest, like ding. You feel pretty pleased with yourself, Aya. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just not mobile enough. Oh, this is gonna be so great. <laughs> you have the advantage almost. I know, I have sweet armor class. Okay. I'm a dodgy bitch, anyway. Didn't think I oh shit! Oh, 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 that was, oh, a, that was a save again, but still. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, sorry, you're right. Although it, it doesn't matter with you because you're not proficient in it anyway. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Oh, so. Ooh. Ah. Grim? You're sort of. You, you, sizing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, Grim. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> oh god. It's not any better. The natural ones. Come on. Guys, please. Oh. This is a long <laughs> fight. Yeah. Ah. Oh, it's over. No. We didn't. The instant natural one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we knew this was coming, but still. Yeah, ba ba basically, <laughs> what happens is, Grim, you're you're sort of you're preparing to spar, and then when 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 you start, you immediately go, you immediately just sort of like swing, and the you you almost go to you go to block it with the stick, but you forget you've got your hands. On the stick, so he just hits you in the knuckles, and he just like skins your knuckles, and you're just like, ow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops! Oh. Kalara, it, it, it it takes a few moments of sort of like it's okay, you do, it's you you'll get it from Kalaris. <laughs> <laughs> but you're. I believe in you. <laughs> you go for it. You go for it again, and you're sort of like you're 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 trying to hold the stick up. Uh, but Grim just like Grim is just like he's so much faster and so much smaller than you, and it's it's kind of hard to sort of like he's like moving the stick like way too quickly, and you can't like keep up with him. And he's just sort of like he's tapping you on the side of the legs, and then Kalaris is just like okay, okay, okay. There's a there's a there's a much easier way you can do this. It's like, so like just like stand like this, holding the stick, and and you're sort of like okay, ready for this. But you. You see the the stick swing coming in this time, and you just you flick it out of the way. And Grim, you're totally not expecting this, and the stick just goes out of your hand, and you're just like, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, unfortunately, that doesn't count as a point to anybody. That's just Grim dropping the stick. <laughs> yeah, but still. Uh, and then, it, like, I, I, I was very pleased. You you <laughs> block a couple more swings once Grim retrieves his stick, but he manages to get another one and just like he sort of like wraps you on the back of the leg, and you're just like, okay, I'm done with this. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, in like any actual thing, were those going on at the same time, or did we do them separately? Do you think you were doing them at the same time? Okay, well, there you go then. Yeah. I, you did get one hit in. Did I? Yeah. Oh. Like, no. Um... no, no. All she did was knock the stick out of your hand. Uh, wait. Because I never beat your armor class. Yeah. No, you did. The only uh, time she got like better. Second to last one? No, no because was... you have armor class that 12, doesn't... because it's it's yeah. 10, oh, 10 plus dex plus shield. shield. Oh, that's true. Never mind. Bearing in mind, my 10 plus dex plus shield is 11. <laughs> so that would have hit me, just not you. Yes, it would have hit Vondal, yeah. but it doesn't hit Grim. Okay, I'm just going to sulk then. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Poor V. 
On Nods makes the comment, I am ri I'm just not used to fighting without armor. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Uh -huh. So, like, as, as you, you, Aya, as you land your, your, um, your your stick thrust on on Vondal's chest and and, and win win the bout. There's a small round of applause from behind you. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Let <laughs> me guess, it's Indy. It's Indy. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, Look, she says. Uh, Arya's just gonna like awkwardly twirl the stick and be like, thanks. Oh. Certainly know what you're doing with your hands. Oh Jesus Christ! Ah, wow, <laughs> that's perfectly wow. innocent. Is it? Is it? I feel like it's. Is it not. really, Rob? You can insight check it. Oh, <laughs> sure, let's do that. I want, I kind of want to do that as well. Oh God. Not gonna be innocent. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Vondal and Aya, you catch the subtle wink that follows that comment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can Vondal just look at Aya and go, like, What's the fact that she's always the one all you talked about? <clears throat> just and it. under your breath or out loud? No, out loud. Okay. Yeah. Good lord. Can I inside check that one? Because I otherwise have no idea what Vondal yeah. is talking about. To to yeah. wit to wit Vondal saying that in these responses, wouldn't you like to know? <sighs> yeah, I have a pretty good idea of what's going on. <laughs> Arya is now blushing again because now it's in front of everyone. Fucking <laughs> hell. Um. That's that's twice now we've seen this. Wow. Wait, what was the first time? Are you opening up to us, are you? Not intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. And she's just sort of I'm looking not... at you expectantly with a smile on her face. I'm now just really debating whether or not to say something now. I mean, okay, I'm gonna do it. Vondal tries to whisper just over to Aya and just goes, You have- you found quite the catch then. Arya is just going to subtly trip him with her stick. I'm not moving- I'm not moving. How are you doing that? Or like- By moving it backwards quickly under yeah, your legs. Yeah. Make me a dexterity like, saving like throw. Under his oh yeah, yeah. dexterity saving throw. This is gonna go well. Yep, yep. there it is. Oh, <laughs> Double one! <laughs> I saw that coming. Deck save minus one. Indy oh. sort of giggles into her fist. <sighs> like I'm unintentionally wooing this girl. <laughs> I don't know how to yep. feel. <laughs> really are, aren't you? Yeah. Um, anyway, Arya's gonna move this conversation along. Uh, we were just waiting for you to get back um, to show you the thing that I was telling you about uh, last night. She Can smiles. I, like, motion V forward. Hello. Uh, I guess I sort of like hold out the box and like, like very carefully open it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you know what this is? Um, that's a good question. It looks like a crystal. It's a thing called wraith glass. I'm not sure what what. Kind of information we're trying to get out of this woman, because uh, we well, know quite we know... a bit about a rave glass already. Do we? Don't we? Oh, Not really. Probably. I would say we know quite a bit. We know enough. Oh. We learned like about uh, how you look through it and all the spirits that you can see through it to find like an entrance to the. You, you definitely, you you definitely learned about looking through it. 
That's true, I suppose. <laughs> but we don't know that. That's yeah, why I made we don't that comment out of character. That's why um, I'm saying not out of character. Uh, she says, oh, I've, uh, I've heard of it. I didn't know it was anything more than mythology. Ah, well. Worth a try. I totally forgot that I had learned all that stuff about the Wraith class. Oops. <laughs> oh well. Well, it depends what you're trying to get out of it, because she knows... She knows mythology, she just doesn't know anything about the actual properties. Um... I don't you know, don't. I was trying to figure out if she knew an, an alternate way to, like, destroy it or something. Uh, no, she just doesn't know it, definitely. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, well, that's fine. She's... <clears throat> she is an academic, not a. Uh, not a practitioner. Mm. Yeah, well. Whatever. Well, should we get going then? Oh, I suppose uh, so. I guess that's all we came for. Anything else we need? Yeah, if you tell anyone? me that's all you came for, that's all you came for. Yeah. Well. I guess we thank her. Okay. For having us and... Uh... Letting us stay with her. Yeah. It's been my pleasure. I bet it has. <laughs> 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 She said that to Grim, so... Yeah. Yeah. So oh, it was, it was directly at me, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. It was in response to your comment. Yeah, yes. Um, I already forgot what it was. <laughs> Thank you for having us. <laughs> it was like the most generic thing you were. Yeah. I was like, there was a generic response, but I just totally <laughs> blanked on it. You totally blanked your generic comment. Social interaction. I mean, it's, it's I'm hard. Like Acceptable social greeting. <laughs> How the fuck do I talk to uh. girls? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I, uh, I guess. Well, I guess it's for well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Also, I love how Arya is just never going to mention the that she basically thought I was your fucking escort. What? How did you <laughs> a casual conversation with someone? I know, but still. Also, she didn't. Oh, yeah. She didn't really think that. She was just teasing. Yeah, she was definitely teasing. She was... that, that's basically what she is. Isn't that basically? She flirts by teasing. Isn't that basically racist? <laughs> it's not racist. <laughs> Maybe it's yeah. a stereotype about that, triads. That's it. Might it might be racist? That's... Depends on how you want to take it. That's like saying having a male elf in the party. With Aya, we, she'd be like, "Is that your boyfriend?" It's the same. It's the same. It, it is a, a little bit stereotypical, but all right. Look, there's stereotypes for a reason, right? Wow. I mean, dryads, <laughs> yes. Half dryads, no. Yeah. Look, anyway. people get them confused. It's not like I literally will never tell me that comment because. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's she's probably never going to tell you guys that this random elf girl in the middle of the forest is, like, trying to hit on her really hard. I mean, I think it's kind of obvious mm. after that. It is, but she's not ever going to tell you that openly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, the thing you need to tell us, we all know. Anyway. Look, she lives in a village with two old people. She's kind of lonely. Aww. I love how she singled out Aww. me, of all people. But yeah, the only other elf. That's true, I guess. The only other one she's attracted to. <laughs> Yeah. What about V? Hi. <laughs> Only half elf. Yeah. Not, well, not... That's being racist. <laughs> Too young, not yeah. her type. Yeah, fair. Um, What's her type? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Apparently. Oh, brooding. Yeah, tall, dark, and brooding, exactly. <laughs> tall, dark, and brooding, <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. She sensed it so fast. Huh. Are we ever gonna actually leave? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm, I'm wondering. 
yeah, look, you you yeah. you guys can leave as you want, and sort of she she uh, bids you goodbye, and she turns to Arya and says, "I'm sad you're leaving so soon." <laughs> it's like really cliche. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, "Yes, well, we have to be on our way. Uh, this rake glass will not wait. I'm afraid." Well, if you're ever passing by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most awkward romantic departing ever. I don't even know if Arya thinks of her romantically. She's very confused. It didn't even need I to mean, be romantic. It could have just been a hookup. It would have been fine. Yeah. Wow. One night stand. Yeah, I'm sure because Arya's in a perfectly healthy mental state for that to happen. Totally. There's no reason why that would ever be no. an issue. <laughs> I fail to see the problem. No, there's no issue here. Let's just say this panned out exactly how I anticipated it to pan out, so... <laughs> Good. <laughs> Amazing. Now I kind of wish I'd played it, like, differently, just to throw you off. <laughs> Too I late. Mean, completely in character, so... I oh, think well. as as we're leaving, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say to her farewell and good luck in Elvish. Yeah, I'm gonna say to her in Elvish as well. Uh, stay safe. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she um she acknowledges the 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 greetings and she she smiles at you specifically, Aya, when you say that. She yeah. appreciated the concern. Can I, can I just nudge Arya with my elbow and be like, you coming back? I'm just gonna defiantly ignore Vondal yeah. and uh, march straight ahead. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say, you're more fun when you're bright red. Mm. You're more fun when you're on the ground. Oh, burn! Oh, burn! <laughs> and with less that... I'm just gonna say under my breath, less rude as well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm back on the road. Hooray! Hooray! Hex crawl! Mm. Some more six mile walks. Yeah. Yep. Right, well, yeah, you may continue to move as you have previously. Go, go, leader. Luca leader. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Take us away, Luca. Uh, we're going to the one on the left, right? Oh, I thought oh, we were taking right. the right one. Oh, it's yeah. the right one? Oh, okay. This is um, the military base. No, it's the military base close. is Storm Siege. Yeah, oh, so Storm Siege is the other one. Oh. You can't see the names, by the way, Ferris, if that's... Oh, okay. That <laughs> yeah. probably would help. You didn't turn <laughs> the names on, mate. Yeah. We all just made assumptions. That's my bad. I forgot that you can't. That one house all the way off to the left, or that one uh, yeah. all the way off to the left, that was going to bother the crap out of me. I know, I know. Never it's like getting the... Oh yeah, because I, I left the names off until you identified what they were. We'll, guys, we'll, we'll get back to them. Like point. there's one, there's like one to the right over here as well. Guys, left who bottom. knows, they might be, there might be our, des they might be one of our destinations at some point, who knows. Mm -hmm. Who knows what this campaign will bring? Right. Well, sure. let's move. Yes, let's do that. All right. I guess we'll just follow the path for now. Yeah. Yep. How yeah. many squares can we move? Five? Uh, yes. So it'd be like here. Oops, here. Five, yeah, and I need to roll for your encounters every day. Fun fun! You encounter someone at every yeah. hex. Your travel passes without incident. Uh, oh, yes. well. That's probably a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> so disappointed. So you may expend a ration. Oh, yeah. No, make, sure, make sure everybody is uh, topped back up and have, has your fatigue removed. Yes. I didn't even figure out where to... Right yeah, no oh, there, there isn't an actual tracker for fatigue, I don't believe, but... 
you know. Yeah. Actually, since we've had nothing to do all game, I may as, I may as well, like, hunt, I guess, for food. Try to sure. save up food. Well, we are next to a forest-ish thing. Yeah, sure, you can you can make me um, uh, na nature checks to find things, survival checks to hunt them. Or I survival checks to just hunt for food in, like, inanimate form. Because there is food in inanimate form. Like, carrots. Shit, well, can I, can I basically do a thing, like, if I don't find any man animals, I can <laughs> just survival uh, check it? Yeah, sure. So I'll first do a nature check. Pretty bad. That's pretty what good. What am I doing? <laughs> oh yeah. That's... I don't even need <clears throat> nature okay. for gathering or survival for hunting. Yeah, bet between yeah. between V and I, yeah, I would say you manage to make a, a meal to gather a meal's worth of food as you travel. As in a ration or a oh, as, like, sorry, as in people. a day for all of you. Okay. So, okay. Don't expend anything. <laughs> Woo! Hooray! Let me just go and add one more ration back on then. Nailed it. Uh, yeah, my survival is pretty good. <laughs> just a little bit, you know? Okay, yep. Yeah, carry on again. Wait, I have to make my thing in the morning. Oh, yes. Yes, do that. Oh, oh boy! No. Oh, Rest in fucking pieces, y'all. Rip. Oh, it could still be okay. Is it less than a DC six? <laughs> Riff, Riff in pepperonis. <sighs> Not after this many days have passed, I don't think so. Yeah, you say, notice the as you go to apply the the seal for today it the it it doesn't the the silvered lines that uh uh Varys drew in the first place uh they they don't shimmer in quite the same way when you reapply it and you get the feeling that it might have lost its potency ooh that's bad just a little Nightmare bit. Nightmare tonight, boys. Yeah. Hope you guys are ready. Let's see, we don't know that. Yeah, no, technically only V knows it at this point. At this point. You could choose to share that with your party members, or you could keep it yourself. You can make... You you do know that it's, it is triggered by certain things. You could try and avoid its effects by negating those triggers, but whether or not you reveal, again, that information to the others... I'll wait for now. <laughs> okay. You may continue to move. Okay. Which way are you going? You're going that way. Okay. All the way back here, you have an encounter. Oh. <laughs> okay. uh, and I'm about right to tell you start. what that is. Is it a uh, friendly monk again? I hope so. I really, I really like that monk. She was cool. Everybody roll me perception checks. Even me? Even you. Ah. <laughs> Hey, Lyra. Oh, yeah. oh my oh, lord. God. Never mind. <laughs> Fucking hell, Kolaris. Look. I'm fine. Right. Perception checks. Okay, as you are travelling on the road, I, uh, you notice that uh, Lyra perks up about... Uh, no, you've not been travelling for too long after you set up camp. Uh, when you notice that, uh, uh, that Lyra perks up and there seems to be sort of like... Um, Sniffing as if they were following tracks. Uh, and she's sort of like... She looks to you and is sort of... Stands still. As if trying not to be spotted by something. Is like sort of like hunkered down. Uh, and do you think it might be a good idea to stop and do the same? 
Yeah, I just like motion to the others to uh, sort of hide. Everybody or, like, get down. You know, get down! Get down! Get down. Mm. Okay. Let's do that then. The music stopped. Yeah, that's the wrong track. <laughs> just I was like, that's not very ominous at all. Yeah, that was quite relaxing. <laughs> I love this one. Um, it's good. That's also kind of relaxing. Well, you don't know that anything's what's happened yet. I mean, Lyra's yeah. nervous, so... It's a small gnome just plodding along. Oh. Um... Okay, yeah, basically, as you as you crouch down... Probably... Von Dahl, you're probably the first person to notice this. Um... Actually, in a short distance uh, ahead of you, is something rustling through the bushes. Uh, it looks fairly big, but you can't tell what it is from here. Okay. Can I make? Can I try and make another check to see what it is, or? Um. Yeah, sure. Make me. Make me a nature check with disadvantage. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's big. It's f looks furry. <laughs> it's big. Uh, big. I'm going to, at the very least, kind of... I should do whisper, like, kind of point out the fact that there are, in fact, bushes rustling over there. And that there's a big thing in it. Obviously trying to be quiet. Yeah. Um, now that it's been pointed out to you, the rest of you can sort of, like, make nature checks to try and identify it as well. Also disadvantaged? Uh, for now, yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, wait, wait. I was kind of yeah. holding out that double net energy from Clarice. Uh, V, from <laughs> this... girl in the bushes! <laughs> from this distance, it, it looks like a bear, but you don't know... Uh, it's kind of hard to tell from this distance, but it it something looks wrong about it. Is it a bugbear? No, oh they they don't it's look a, like bears. An owl bear. An owl bear. Oh boy. Um. I don't know. It might not be. Can we hear any of the noises it's making? Yes, it's making rustling noises as if it's digging through the undergrowth or something. Yeah, but like, I mean, like, I don't know, animal noises. Um, at the moment, it isn't particularly making any. Like, there's a faint, like, almost like a, a like a, a snuffling sound. But. Mm. Well, I think we might just be better off sneaking around this guy. That's not gonna work. Do I need to remind try. you how sneaking tends to work for this entire Look, party? None of you are wearing armor. Okay. Look, at least three out of five of the party don't have disadvantage anymore because we're oh, not that's wearing true. armor. Yeah. Yes. All right, we can attempt to sneak. Better to have okay. tried and failed than never to have tried at all. Oh. Yeah, particularly as you're screwed up. Yeah. All right, stealth checks, boys. Oh. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> it was going so well. I mean, it would have kind been of. a disadvantage either way. Uh, no, because you're not wearing the armor. Oh, wait, no, we're not wearing armor. Yeah. Fair point, never mind. So I actually okay. did kind of okay. Well, Looking right. grim with his double you all, 18. you all sort of begin to sneak around this thing. When. Uh, basically, Kalaris, you stumble and you, you kick rocks and make quite a decent amount of noise uh, and at that point a male owl bear pokes its head up out of the bushes god damn oh, it is an owl bear <laughs> and it sees you and it goes <laughs> 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 it's an owl everybody <laughs> roll me <laughs> initiative i mean insert, if you've ever insert heard the cast of avatar getting confused by a regular bear if you've ever heard a, a an, oh uh, yeah! Barn owl screech. They sound like death. So yes. you mean like you mean like a platypus, platypus bear? Nope. No, just a bear. 
<laughs> just a regular just bear. bear. Oh, I didn't select my token. Oops. It's not. Uh, well, the, the thing isn't up yet, so it doesn't work. I think. Turn order. Yeah, it is. Oh, now it's up. Oh, it is now. Uh, it needs to be cleared because it's oh, all. Oh, yeah, it was just. Good. It was a little bit laggy. Okay, yeah, let's. Let's let's say you could just roll it again. Nice. Ah oh, yes, good initiative for oh, once. Yay. Oh, Kalaris! <laughs> oh, oh, you're not having a good day. Are you? You're rolling. Hey, Kalaris, at least it's a natural one that doesn't result Look, in zero. Look, we say that she's rolling badly now, but you know the moment that she has to do any damage roll. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's Look, just whether that damage roll happens. Please, that's all I have left now. <laughs> like, I'm gonna move one miles away from you guys. Like, hmm. okay. It, you'll find a 10 on a D8, basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I feel like that's something that you could write on like one of those weird Valentine's cards. You're a 10 on my D8. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. To me, you're a nat 20. Aww. Oh. Hmm. Anyway. Did you even want nat 20 on your appearance? Cause damn. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> you are so uh, You will have to forgive me for just a moment. Because I appear to have lost my owl there. Give me a second. Oh no! No! That sounds, sounds like a bad idea, leaving your owl bear out and about. No. Never leave your owl bear exposed. No. Watch me create monsters on the fly, everybody. Woo! So those of you, so there you go. Um, thank you to all our lovely viewers who now know how to create monsters uh, using yep. the Roll Twenty website. Oh yeah, this, this is our present to you. And you literally drag it out of the compendium, uh, and then you go to Google and you find an image because you can't find your tokens <laughs> either. Wow. I'm I, yeah, I must have. So we've got live footage of Google images right now. No, you don't. Ah, shame. Because he only ever keeps it on the uh, roll twenty yeah, screen. When I can avoid ah. it. Shame. Uh, I'm not gonna graphically edit it and make it all fancy. So there you go. This is our um, this is our excellent kind of apology for being gone so long. You now know how to create <laughs> this is, monsters. Yeah, in literally, roll literally live monster creation because I screwed up. Oh my god, he's huge! It's not that big. Oh god! <laughs> One claw is bigger than litter! Oh yeah. Oh. He's I was totally totally prepared to fight that. Really? Because I wasn't. I don't think any- especially since it was right next to Lyra. Yeah. <laughs> Probably would have- uh, Yeah, <laughs> you guys are not uh, in the position of Also, Von Dahl's spiritual weapon is not. Yeah. I don't, why the... is my spiritual weapon still? Um, anyway. so I will I'll very quickly- where we can't see it. Oh, hang oh, on, I'll put it like I'll put it down down here somewhere. There you go, it's, it's not even on the map now. It's just way down in the corner. Oh, it's uh, it's it's fine there. You're probably yeah. gonna summon it anyway. Potentially. There's the curvature of the path, and it's basically standing there, and you guys are spotted along the path. Yes. Okay. Uh, the Albert needs to roll. Eh. Okay. Boom. Boom. Uh, Aya has high dexterity for Von Dahl, so Aya goes first. I don't think that's not very hard to have higher dexterity than than Vandal. It's really not. Alright, I'm gonna shoot it with my longbow. Yeah. In that case, we will change the music. I don't think that hits it, but... Time for the playlist called Sound the Battle Music! Yes, you do, because you, wow. you, you're acting before why is, it's acted. Why the, f why oh. the fuck is there a pixie on a fairy dragon here? We left him behind in Silverbrook, goddammit. So you did an Archibald voice when you said that. Oh. You said hey, sound the battle music and you did it in an Archibald voice. That was yeah, meant to be fine. me doing an impression of Pyrian Flax doing an impression, but sure. 
Right. It sounded like Archibald. Okay. I don't know, maybe your Archibald voice is an impression of Pyrian Flax doing an impression. Maybe. Who knows? We will Probably never do. find out. Because nobody cares. I care, Rob. I care. Oh, look at that. Look at that on the fly HP generation. <laughs> oh, you've we done well, guys. I didn't you roll, I just, used really... the base, I just used the base value. Oh. I was going to say, either he's rolled really well or really badly, it's one of those two. Okay. Yep, yeah, you deal some damage. The owlbear goes, Aah! again. <laughs> Screeching this is not like more. any owl I've ever heard. I can't, I can't do an owl screech with my human vo voice box. Uh, that, that, that was pretty good one. Yeah, somebody did a pretty good one just there. That was me. <laughs> Okay. Uh, nice one. There we go. From now on, oh, you, get, you, uh, you, you say the owl by makes a noise, and Luca does the noise. What? Because we're doing our we're doing. Whoops! I clicked too many times. We're doing our efficiency what? saving thing where we let Lyra take the same initiative as as Aya. Yeah, I already moved her. So. Okay. Cool. She's done. Well, no. Cool. Right. I'm gonna move to here. Yeah. And I'm gonna hold action until it gets close enough. And then I'm gonna cast a big old inflict wounds on it. Okay. Uh, v. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the old magic missile. <laughs> nice. Magic missile. Magic missile. Never fails. <laughs> okay. Fire off your magic missile. Uh, the bolts impact home on the Albert, and it's just like it's pretty pissed now. Good. Okay. Uh, Bring it on. It's gonna leg it towards. Oh, good. Inflict wounds. Oh. Where is inflict wounds? It's not on my. Um, I have to go to my spell list. Ah, oh, damn it. That I believe is not enough to reach its armor class. That uh, does that still? That will still take away a spell slot, won't it? If I miss, or is it only when I hit? Uh, that's a good question. Let's have a look. Does it say when you cast a spell, make an attack roll, or do you make it based on an attack roll? Make a melee spell attack. Yeah, then you then it's expected. Okay, damn it. Okay. Oh well. The Albert attempts to maul you. Yay! Oh God, Christ! Oh fuck! Oh. Uh, oh it's... my God. Yeah. Okay. Uh... There you go. Shit. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. I think his attempt succeeded fairly well. <laughs> yeah, I'm down to 12, did. guys. Yeah. Oh boy. God. It, it oh rakes God. you with its claws and then, like, bites at you with its beak. And it, like, it crushes through armor with both of its attacks. And it, it's a lot Shit. more intimidating than you thought it was at first. I mean, Grim. I'm also not wearing any armor. Yeah, I'm not wearing any armor. Oh, yeah, you're not wearing any armor anyway, so, yeah, no, it just, it just penetrates flesh. God. Um. Uh, can I even make it there? No, but you're a range fighter. Oh no, you can't make it there actually. Oh no, you can't make it. I can't ah. make it. Uh, I'm gonna try and get its attention. I should probably do something to get him out of there, kind of. Oh yeah, you could do, can't you? Because you've got your abilities. Uh, okay, I'm gonna move behind the elbow. So here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make a maneuvering. Oh, I need to hit first, I believe. Uh, yes. So I'll make an attack first. Uh, attack, attack. There you are. Nope. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is anyone up for running away? Uh, <laughs> anyone at all? Gr Grim disappears off behind the owl bear. And all you hear, all you hear from behind the owl bear is, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Grim. Uh, save us, oh, Ma. Shit. Um, I'm gonna come and stand. Uh. uh I think if you're gonna try to stand, like. If you stand on the here. other side of it, you will provoke attacks. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, do I? Okay. Because you have to pass him. Well, you could maybe get there. Doesn't she already have flanking bonus though? 
Uh, no, in, then there would have to be somebody here or here to ground flanking. Uh, wait, even if I don't, pa I'm not. Would that? Oh yeah, because I guess that would have passed. Yeah, I'll just, you know, screw. I'll just stand there. It's fine. Uh, and so, wait, if I were to stand here, that wouldn't be flanking, would it? No. Okay. Then yeah, I'll just stay where I am then, and. Hopefully not roll. Oh, nice. I, I basically I need, need it. In order oh, to be counted as flanking, I need to be able to basically draw a line between your token and the other token, and it cover it to be, to be through more than 50% of the... She doesn't even need it. Thing. Look at that. Oh, makes yeah. Some two, two, two yeah. Oh, no. Shring. Nice. Your blade bites into the owlbear. Oh, yeah. I'm making up for my shitty stealth, guys. <laughs> there, there are two things that we could be using for, for some flanking nice bonuses here. Oh, we're going to use Aya. All right. And Lyra. Yeah. Nice. Um, I'm going to attack with my scimitar. Team Double Doggo. Team Double Doggo. <laughs> <coughs> Oops. Oh. Okay. Oh, but I uh, have flanking. That first. is flanking, so yep. Yeah. Nice. Yay. Yay. Swing. Swing. Nine damage yeah, on the scimitar. Well. And then Lyra's gonna bite him. Uh huh. Unfortunately, it's a size class larger than Lyra, so Lyra cannot tackle it. Uh, that's shit. a hit. Oh, nice. shit. Oh, Lyra, nice. Ten damage. Vandal! Okay. I would Nursing like bloody take... wounds. Yeah, I'm gonna take <laughs> my action to disengage. Yeah. I'm gonna move to here. And then my bonus action to summon the spiritual weapon in my place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Make that we attack. still get some kind of flanking. Spiritual weapon! Nice! Oh, it's a crit. Oh, nice! Natural 20! How much damage? Biatch! Oh, yeah. shit! Okay. You, you duck away from this owlbear, summon the... Uh spiritual weapon in the air above it and then just bring it down it just goes swing straight through the middle of the owlbear's head oh nice. god nice. <laughs> fuck you owlbear if, if you know Garen's ult from League of Legends it's basically, you basically just did that <laughs> stung that looks pretty damn amazing and that's pretty much all I can do and yeah it's dead <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure it's nice. dead, so... It's yeah. fine. You just summoned a, a ghost sword yeah. through its head. Uh, yeah. Congratulations, you beat up an innocent owlbear that was just defending its territory. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. No, we, we protected future travelers from its dangers. <sighs> Look man, Arya attacked first. If we had gone first, he would maybe have tried to talk to it, but... Well, already balls deep into combat, so... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Bondal's gonna do the classic, holy shit, I'm wounded. Like, heavy breathing, trying to apply pressure to stem bleeding. Because I don't know if I want to use spell slots to try and heal myself here. I mean, Anybody else want to try and help him? <laughs> um, I'll, I'll go over. I, I, I screwed up that spell throw pretty bad. Um, how much health are you missing? Um, let's see... Like, 23? Is it 20? Is no, it I right? took... so I took... Yeah, yeah, 23. See? Okay. Good math. Uh, it's almost as if Helena can add two numbers together. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike my monk. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit slower with mental math. That's fine. Um, I will give you 15 hit points back. I'm gonna lay on hands, him. Oh, generous. Thank you. Yeah. Look, I screwed up that cell phone really bad, and if it wasn't for that, we probably wouldn't have had to fight, so... Yeah, you... yeah but think of the XP we'll, we're actually getting now, instead of just, like, avoiding... Okay. Avoiding... <laughs> yeah. 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 You, uh... Yeah, I just want to save them just in case. You, you force the, the... You, um... You bring the healing energy, like, through your hands, and you sort of, like, hold it over his wounds, and it sort of, like, knits back together as you, like, pass your hand over it. It was good to... Do our parties ever classic Bronard? Say thank you, Clarice. There's our Bronard of the session. <laughs> probably got a bit. Probably went Bro in a bit too. Quarter. Probably got a bit <laughs> yes. too too aggressive there. 
Uh, if it wasn't for for me stumbling, you wouldn't have had to get hit in the first place, so it's the least I can do. Slipping don't, don't, don't blame yourself. Don't blame yourself. <laughs> don't blame yourself. We all make mistakes. A shrug. <laughs> Everybody has those days. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think the closest thing we've had to a true bonding moment. <laughs> Look. We don't we don't get to talk much. No, we don't somehow. Right. You may continue on your journey. Uh which in terms of encounters goes on event. Alright. See where do we end up? Uh, you I think we're like here. Uh, one more. Oh. Boop. Nice. Okay. It's time to make camp. Sleepy times. Hey. Unless people want to do more hunting. Oh, that's true. Uh, sure, why not? Because we should probably forage whenever we can. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I'm gonna say. This is the thing. Vondal's gonna go up to. Ah, uh, yeah. With his crossbow in his hand. And he's gonna say, Look. I probably went. I apologize for the teasing back in your maple leaf. Um, tell you, so I have, I have, a, I have a request for you. Yes. Uh, teach an old dwarf how to hunt. Aw, oh, we're bonding. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sure. Okay. Uh, I love how Luca is least like Arya out of like all of us. <laughs> I'm telling you, today is the day where I actually get to just be myself for most of the thing, because I'm just like, ah, awkward flirting. Yep. Anyway. Yeah, you All can right. you can try and teach him. Let's do it. Uh, so, yeah. Vondal, make me a nature check. Uh, Aya, make me a nature check. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Jesus. Who the fuck what needs to teach you? Could you oh, help God. me with hunting? Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> I've done two natural twenties in a row. What the hell? You're too busy teaching me. There, yeah. That's your excuse. You, oh yeah, you're sort of like you. You start off as you normally do when you're when you're hunting. You, you're sort of checking the area for tracks, and you're trying to show Vondal these tracks. Vondal is completely distracted by a deer that he can see over there. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's right there. It's right there. Make me survival check, and you make you can support it, are you? Oh, that's a bit less impressive. Higher. Oh. Support him. I didn't realize that. Mean. Oh. Oh. oh boy. We are very good at this. Are you sure you've hunted Clearly. before? <laughs> I, I thought so. You, you follow this deer for a little while, and Vondal, you're sort of like you're struggling to sort of move stealthily, and like every t every so often the deer sort of like spooks and disappears off a little bit. But you, you're sort of keeping, you keep up with it for a little while, and eventually it's just sort of like oh, okay, we've hunted this long enough. We'll take the shot and we'll have a go. And you sort of like you level the crossbow. And I is just like no, 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 hold on, do it like this, and like. Literally, as she does that, you're pulling the trigger, so she's adjusting your arm, and the arrow just goes off wide. Deduct one arrow from your crossbow, and you do not get a deer. Oh. Oh well. You tried. You tried. You you return to camp empty-handed, looking a little bit sheepish. See, V would help with the hunting right now, but she's kind of looking at this fucking box very worriedly. Because you haven't told anybody about it yet. No. If you're looking at the box worriedly, Vondal instantly is. Well, it, I, 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 is that visible? Okay. How how visible is that? Oh, yeah, well, you're you're out hunting. We just got. Oh back. yeah, true. Yeah, the meantime. Is it the meantime? All or... right, there you go. V, it's up to you. Um. Well, she probably passed on the hunting anyway. So <laughs> to look at the box. Okay, so you're you're alone for this this period. Well. Not alone, because Grim is here. Yeah, Kalaris and Grim yeah. are still around. 
but the question is, do we see her looking at this box? I mean, she's holding the box how, definitely, so... Yeah, how, how concealed is it? Not very? Then roll me perceptions. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, that's been going well. Oh, look, it's odd. There's about to be sad character development. Uh, no, because they aren't going <laughs> to <Nope>. fucking... <laughs> it's it's the nighttime well. music. Yeah, it's evening music. Uh, yep. Which is when all of our emotional <laughs> scenes happen. Yeah. Uh, neither neither of you particularly... You're, you're both sort of getting wood and sort of making sure that you've got all your gear and putting up tents. Can I try to reapply it again? <laughs> you can try. You get a couple of sparks of magic, but it's gone. Ugh. Hell shit. <laughs> the problem is that V is right right now she's she doesn't really want to tell everyone, but also she knows damn well that she that in its current state she shouldn't be holding on to it anymore. I don't know, do we wanna give it back to Grim? Looks at Grim. <laughs> you have no idea that <laughs> that happened. I know. <laughs> Look, everything is fine. Is it? I feel like it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. <sighs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. I'll just not worry about the fact that you stared the big bad in the face. So, <laughs> I, is V doing anything about this? Are you? Do you know? Mm, not really. She's. I think she's gonna wait until everyone gets back so she can, okay. so we can discuss it. You guys return from hunting. So <laughs> we kind of failed. You didn't catch anything. Yeah. I may or may not have held her back slightly. I think we have um, a, a a more important issue at hand. I think the magic is gone, and there's nothing keeping the the rave charge from doing its magic. Oh no. I'm sorry. Can I like walk up to V and put a hand on her shoulder and be like... Be like what? <laughs> yeah, hmm? you, cut, you, cut, you cut out yeah, there. You cut out. Oh, and, and be like you did your best. <laughs> sorry, I didn't realize I... I think it's because you're talking quietly. Oh. I think <laughs> it's because you did your best. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um... Like, Vondal's gonna give her, give her like a, a sympathetic smile and like, kind of agreeing with Aya. It's, it's alright, V. You did your best and you held that for a while. Oh, we made it like about halfway to the capital, so it saved us a lot of trouble. Still, what do we do now? I probably shouldn't be holding on to this anymore. Well, either we prepare for what happened back in Silverbrook, or, I don't know, does anyone know of a way to... Well, it might be best if we <clears throat> spread ourselves out a little bit more tonight, um, so that we're all not clustered around yeah. it. Oh, I guess I'll take the box back again. Okay. I'm not going to inside check it because I trust Grim, even though I shouldn't. <laughs> You didn't know that but, was happening. You, yeah, you have you have nothing based yeah. to insight check it on. Yeah, I see no. what you mean. Yep. I there you the go, Grim. Have fun with that. <laughs> we trust him. Lena doesn't. Good. I'll back up to one wraith glass in a box. <laughs> <laughs> one wraith glass, please. One wraith glass box. I'm gonna delete that from mine. Bye. <laughs> uh, like before we like go to bed and stuff 
Do any of you remember all the things that we shouldn't do? We should keep it away from magical sources and people. Yeah, we just need to like spread out. Was there anything problem. else? Um, not I think we should also keep it in covered, the glass, right? Yeah, don't look in the glass. Ah, okay. Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> The things oh, oh, it should be avoided. You, the, as as mystical GM voice, the things you remember being told were: don't expose it to energy, don't keep it around large numbers of people, uh, and yeah, basically it's it acts as a uh, uh, one-way viewing. Well, it, it's a two-way viewing device, but there's more than that about it. It has been rigged to be an ob to be kept an eye on. Actually, I've I've just thought of something. Maybe Aya should hold on to it overnight, because while she sleeps, she's fully conscious. I still dream, though. I know, but if someone tries to nick it, it's gonna be a lot easier to steal from the unconscious gnome who's there, who's <laughs> out for eight hours than it is to steal to steal from the fully conscious meditating half elf or no, sorry moon elf who's only out for four hours. It's a point. <laughs> Ar Arya's like, yeah. uh, <laughs> I suppose. You remember what happened last time? Yeah, I'm super not excited about that one, but I suppose it does make sense. Well, I guess if we just stick together as a, as two. Uh, I see. I think. I think the less the effects would be lessened if the more of us or the less of us there are. So I feel like that's not a good idea. I'll, it'll be fine. I can handle it. Okay, let's hope we all can handle it. We just, yeah. we just need to sleep at the far edges of the clearing this time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Deduct rations. Deduct rations. Have a, can we have a quick break real quick? Uh, yeah, I was going to take a break in a minute. Awesome. Just... For my frame of reference, how far away from each other are you sleeping? How big is the clearing where? Yeah. Um, you're not particularly in a clearing, you're just sort of sleeping on, on the like, by the side of the road. Oh. Because cause I'm assuming we're all trying to sleep as far away as possible. Yeah, so like, still in lines of sight, maybe? So you know, like, I'd say spread out. Like, okay. spread out, Perfect. like, so that we can easily move to the people closest to us. Yeah. So the people close to us are within our movement. I Thirty guess. feet away, then. Yeah. Right. Okay. Is everyone okay with that? That's good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that that then. It's not going to be very precise. Um. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not asking you to to be. I just want to know how far in like average terms you'll. Be yeah. Away. Roughly. Yeah. Roughly yeah. how far. Okay. Uh. Yeah. We'll take a take a brief break. And then we get to find out what happens. Cliffhanger! Yay. Yay. It's a cliffhanger for us, it's not really a cliffhanger for the people who watch this, who are going to find out <laughs> in a couple of seconds when they hopefully <laughs> click on the next episode. Assuming yeah. you have time. 